Scott and I are going to show you two different ways to chip your golf ball. And even though he thinks he's right, my way is better. Let me first define a chip. It's going to be a little bit more roll than carry, and it's a stroke motion. So it's putting, putting from a chipping setup. So when I set up, I'm going to hold very low on the handle. What I'm trying to do is turn this chipping club more into the length of my putter. Then I have my stance very narrow. I like to see about a club head width apart, and that's just so your body can't move around a lot. We're looking to be accurate, not powerful here. And I'm going to put my weight on my forward foot. And what that will do is that will drop my left shoulder and allow me to brush the grass after the golf ball. From there, it's a putting stroke. As soon as you can convince yourself of that, the better your chipping will become. So I'm gonna take my practice stroke, holding low, stance narrow, leaning toward the target. Make a nice putting stroke, very even, and brushing the grass. Go ahead and set up to my golf ball. Same setup, lean left, make that putting stroke brush, and hold the finish. Always a very good habit. And what I'm going to get from a pitching wedge is about one-third carry, two-thirds roll. Now Scott will show you another way to hit the exact same shot, but a little different technique. That method might work if you're young and beautiful like Kelly, but if you're old like me and you've got the yips a little bit, a little flip of the hands, this might be another way to do it. We're going to do exactly what Kelly just told us. We're just going to change clubs. We're going to take our hybrid and we're going to turn it into a putter. This is a no-fail way to get the ball up in the air. You don't have to worry about yipping, hitting the ground like you do with a wedge. It's a little easier, in my opinion. We're going to do exactly what Kelly showed us. We're going to put this up on the toe, turn it into the putter. We're going to have a narrow stance with our weight slightly left. And then from here, all we're going to do is brush the ground. That's why our weight is left with a putting stroke. You can't use if, this if you have to go over something. But if you have a chance to roll the ball and you don't want to use your putter, this will be another way to chip your ball to the hole. 